Hi, I'm Professor Oaks. Uh, this is the third uh, sequence, uh, just doing a semester overview for the returning students uh, to EPICS. What I want to do is, is I want to run through just some of the nuts and bolts things. Uh, some of these just refresh your memory. Um, make sure you check the schedule. Uh, most of the, the rooms and the times have, have stayed the same, but if you go to the EPICS website under um, schedules, you can see that the spring 17 um, as schedule that some of those ha have uh, changed. If you're wondering, uh, I will warn you that some of the advisors and the TAs have changed. So you can go to that and actually see who your advisor and your TA is. A uh, reminder for budgets. So in the other module, I talked about returning students are being leaders. The new students are going to look at you as the ones that know everything. Uh, one of the things that I heard a lot of teams say is that they had a budget of $200. Well, what we do in the fall is we put $200 in every team's account before a budget submitted. And the reason we do that is it takes a week or two to get budgets approved and we don't want to slow teams down. So $200 ends up being about, it ends up being enough for students to, to spend in the first couple weeks. Um, a, a team, each team is allowed to propose a budget. And that budget is over the year. So what I know is about half of our team, somewhere around there, have asked for additional money above the $200 and have an approved budget with our office. About half of them don't. Um, and, and with those, so if your team didn't ask for a budget before, you can submit one or if your budget has changed, you can submit a revision. We do budgets on a yearly basis because I have to do budgets on a yearly basis. So we get money from Purdue on a yearly basis and our corporate sponsors give us money once a year. So we do this that we set aside a pot of money for the epics, the, the materials. And we rely on, on you as teams to tell us how much you're gonna need. And we, we divide that pot up. Right now, there's still money in that pot that's available if, if your team needs to revise a budget. All you do is you go to the spreadsheet. You have your financial officer go to, go to the spreadsheet. You need to fill it uh, out or, or make changes and submit it to Pam Brown. If you have any questions, contact Pam Brown. Now, what a lot of you did, which was great, is applied for service learning grants. And those service learning grants occur every semester, and so we can do that again this semester. So if you didn't spend your money from last semester for the service learning grant, it went away. That you, you had to use the service learning grant in the semester that it was approved for. If you have a project that's going to take um, a substantial amount of money, uh, you, we, can, we encourage you to apply for a service learning grant. What's that substantial amount? If you're thinking, if, if it's enough to, to put a grant together, we would encourage you to, to do that. The provost office has that money available for service learning. And the last I heard is there's still money available and they would like to, to spend it out. And we would like to help them spend that out. Um, the service learning grants are on the, the website there where you'll see that in the, the email. Um, and, and please submit that. If you do submit one of those, please let Pam Brown know uh, just so we can track them in our office because they go into to an account. Um, setting a tone for this fall. The other module talked about the first week and, and really setting the tone. Um, as, as we get past the, the first week, remember semester plans, um, get started on that right away. They're due week four. That doesn't mean the first draft is due week four. You should have it finalized. Our theory, and, and this is why when, when I look at students that have been in EPICS before, you might say, well, that's not how our team worked before. The idea is that the semester plan becomes your grading criteria, that that's what you're saying the team can get done this semester. And you really want to work with that. Get a draft to the advisor so you can iterate, but make sure you have that finalized and, and are working on it in week four. And please, if your project manager design leads, put the project plan, the, the semester plan up each week and, and show the progress. Use, 
develop the plan and, and use that. It, it's intended to be a, a tool to work for the semester. Uh, we still have two design reviews. The first design review is week seven, which is February uh, 20th, 24th. Remember, we want each team to invite at least two Purdue people. Um, one of the, the challenges that we've had with, with so many teams and so many students that bringing in enough design reviewers in person has been a little challenge. We're working on that. We've uh, made a huge push with, with virtual reviewers that we've got uh, virtual reviewers for practically every team, but it, it means a lot more if, if you've got some physical bodies in the room. So we're asking you to help us out getting a couple reviewers. And these can be great to, to get discipline specific um, ideas in there. So be thinking about that early. Uh, Mid-semester grading, same thing is gonna happen in, in week eight. Make sure that you got, you're gonna document. I will warn you if you're in your second semester or, or subsequent, one of the things we look at is how many semesters you've been in Epic. So each semester, the, the expectations go up a little bit. Um, talk to your advisor about what that means. And then the final design reviews are in week 14. Last semester, they were in the last week of the semester, and that's just because where Thanksgiving falls that we know we can't, we, we've learned we shouldn't put design reviews the week after Thanksgiving. So they were the last week of the semester. This time they're in week 14. So you're gonna have design review and then you're gonna have one more lab meeting after to, to finish the semester. Grading a reminder, um, it is your documented evidence of your individual accomplishments and your learning and skill development and the team's accomplishments. Um, our expectation is for one credit, you're working about two and a half to three and a half hours outside of lab, depending on if you have lecture that week. And if you're in two credits, you're working five hours a week. So the two credit should have what a one credit student would do plus additional things. I will tell you with grading, sometimes there's a team that's worked together and you've got one and two credit students mixed and it, the, the, it makes it harder to, to evaluate the, the two credits for the excellence. Another reminder just with grading is, is an A is really for excellence, extraordinary work. What did, what did you do above and beyond? Uh, B, we look at is, is good achievement. So you, if you say, hey, I did a good job this semester, um, that's intended to be a, a B. For first semester, sometimes we give you the, the benefit of the doubt, just a, adapting to epics. Um, and again, talk to, to your advisor about those. The forms, the good news is there's no form. <clears throat> for you all to fill out the model release and the safety forms are, are still good. Um, new students will have to uh, fill those out. Notebooks, uh, what we did with the OneNote is the fall 2016 notebooks were copied over to a tab. We're using the same template uh, for that if, if you're using uh, the online notebooks. Um, in my epics, we're, we're trying to put uh, project names, uh, you, you might have to help us if you've got a new project. Uh, we're not going to have that in the database is to make sure that all the project names are, are in there so we can tag people by project. This has become important for us tracking alums and also for uh, intellectual property. Please make sure that you do re-swipe your card and have all the new members re-swipe their cards in the first lab uh, to make sure everybody has lab access. Um, the skill sessions and lectures, I mentioned this before, we're not having a set of lectures for the returning students where you just show up at 4.30 or at 7.30, depending on, on when your schedule is. We've got rooms that accommodate the new students, but we're trying to have a, a blended mix of skill sessions, workshops, um, online modules. And those will be or are on my epics. They, they will be by the first week uh, it's a little bit of a challenge because we've got to get everybody's schedule uh, with the TAs and get those. But definitely by the first week, we will have those on. And, and as I said, there's no regular lectures, um, uh, this online piece. By the way, if you've got feedback on the, the, the things that we're doing or, or things that you'd like to see, if you want to see Professor Oaks's face less or something, uh, don't tell me that might hurt my feelings, but uh, pass it along to us. We're trying to figure out how to best meet your needs um, and get the information to you. Some emergency procedures, these have not changed, but this is just a refresh. 
Um, if, uh, calling 911 if there's an emergency. Anytime you call 911, first thing you should give them is your location. Um, uh, with that, it, oh, and if I go back, if you are not signed up for the Purdue text alerts, uh, go to the ITAP and sign up for those. Those are um, those are great. The emergency procedures. Um, I want to talk about evacuating. If we have a fire alarm where we need to evacuate the building, our rally point is between Push and Hampton. Um, it, it's shown here in the green circle. If we if we evacuate, please go there. Find your TA or advisor. Our TAs uh, carry the attendance rosters, so if this happens during lab, they're going to look for you. If we can't find you, we're going to give your names to the first responders. So if it is a fire, they're going to send firefighters into the building looking for you, and you might have gone to lunch or something. Uh, make sure you check in afterwards to, that we know you're okay. Uh, severe weather. Um, in, the, in the spring, when it becomes really spring, I always laugh that you're in spring semester, but it's January and it's cold. But once we get into to March and, and April, there will be times where the sirens will go off. There'll be um, thunderstorm or tornado warnings. Uh, that, that's part of being in the Midwest. Um, if, if you hear the sirens, what you do is you go downstairs to the basement um, and, and wait for an all clear. Uh, they, they happen, they're usually nothing but you don't want to take a chance. So if, if you see the sirens, um, uh, let's get down. Um, if you, you hear the sirens, and, and this is why the text alerts are, are, are very helpful, you, you hear the sirens outside, go inside. Um, if it's a um, hazardous chemical or something, I've never had one of these, but you want to look at where you go. For weather, we always go to the basement. If it's a chemical something, we might go to the basement or we might go to the top floor. Um, but just if you, if you hear the sirens and go inside, listen to the other people that are directing you. If we do have something where uh, there, there's a problem on campus where somebody's doing harm, uh, you want to get into a lockable room. Um, our, our TAs can lock all of our classrooms and the advisor. Um, basically, you want to look make it look like the room, lock it and make it look like the room is empty uh, and uh, call 911 uh, discreetly. Come to the end of the modules and, and I, I'm so excited. Uh, when you're watching these, I will actually be over in India training other faculty on, on how to do EPIC. So I'm gonna miss the first couple days, but, but I'm looking forward to, to the semester. While we have more students than we've ever had, we still have room. Um, if you've got friends that want to join, have them come in and talk. We don't have space in every team, but we do have room, especially we're looking for more juniors and seniors. We've got um, the opportunity. Please complete the, the uh, questions in my epics, the, the little what did you learn box so you can get credit for these. And hey, make a difference this semester. Thank you.